This fascinating clock is a very beautiful late 18th century example of a musical automaton clock that was almost certainly made for the Chinese market. The well-proportioned case is veneered in ebonized pear wood and it's surmounted by a lovely gudrooned and gilded dome which is flanked and topped by gilt brass urn finials with foliate swags. The sides of the case are set with silk-backed gilt brass sound frets which let out the beautiful tunes that this clock plays so well. The dial is a tour de force and it's dominated by the very lovely white enamel chapter disc which has blued steel sweep seconds hand and very delicate filigree pierced gilt brass hour and minute hands. To the bottom right is an enamel dial for choosing one of the four tunes that the movement plays and on the left is an enamel dial to completely silence the music and also the hour strike. In the arch is a very beautiful scene painted in oil of a Palladian park, centered by a grand house with automaton, finely dressed figures parading in front. The movement has three fusees and spring barrels and the going train has anchor escapement. The hours are struck on a single large bell on the back plate and the four very lovely musical tunes are played on 10 bells with 16 hammers. There are three particular factors that initially attracted me to this clock. The first is its size and proportions because most clocks like this are much larger and often their proportions just don't work. But the proportions of this clock are spot on. The second factor is the finely painted Palladium Park scene which seems to epitomize the opulent elegance of late 18th century aristocratic society. Lastly, the musical tunes are some of the best that I've ever heard for a clock of this type. And if you were to put children in front of this clock and then play the music and automata, their captivated faces simply light up.